Hello, it's me again. We're back and we're going to be doing some more tutorials on the old Procreate. Now, uh, last time, which was yesterday, we did uh, the, create this zombie character. And now I'm going to show you a few little things you can do. Um, for example, um, let's, uh, if we just tap on here and see we've got that at the top there, inks. What we're going to do, we're going to slide these across here like so. And then if you tap those three lines here, it creates a new group. So we're going to call this group uh, Zombie. Now what's great about this, this, is a, this now allows you to move all those layers about because they're in a group together. So that's good. So let's uh, just open up that group. Now, in Disney cartoons, what they do, um, for example, if you've got like a green skin tone, instead of having a black outline, what they'll do is they'll make a dark green um, outline. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you. So if I, I'm just tapping on inks here and I'm getting two fingers and I'm moving them across like so, right? And what that does, it locks the transparency on that layer. So what I'll do now is I'll just select this green. So we hold down, see where the two sliders are on the side of the screen, is that little uh, square there. We're gonna tap that and that allows us to select that green. Now we're gonna go to the green and we're gonna knock down the brightness of it, okay? So, now that I've locked the transparency of it, what we can do is we can just... Let's find a better brush, actually. So don't forget, all the brushes are here. This It's on airbrush at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Inkin. We're going to go Studio Pen. And then we're going to go like so. And see what I mean? So it, basically what it does, it colours in all the pixels on that layer and it locks the transparency which is really handy and then what I can do is just uh, colour those black outlines in so let's, let's colour that in let's do the underneath his eyes as well that's quite cool. Actually, let's do the whole of his eye there. So I hope you've had a good day. Uh, I hope you watched the tutorial, last tutorial. And I hope it's come in handy for you. Uh, you can, I have got the Apple Pencil, but you can actually use a, um, a stylus but obviously it won't have the features like um, pressure sensitivity etc nope so I've just flipped that oh somebody's just messaged okay so that allows me to color in my edges let's let's do some other edges as well um, I'm gonna speed this up There you, do, there you go, we've uh, basically outlined the grey, like so, and outlined the green, like so as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up some of this shading, I think. Let's have a look. If 
we're going to the shading. Can you see all these little outlines here? So what we're going to do is just erase them. Just tidy it up a little bit. So it's all neat. And uh, let's put, let's uh, put the background on. There we go. That's well, a bit too bright. So what I'm going to do is I found that in the old days when I was working on Amigas with my friends at uh, this games company I used to work at, we used to put all, we always used to set it to purple for some reason. This is a very nice colour to work, and it's easy on the eyes. Dark purple. There you go. So okay, so I've done. Uh, Showing you how to do that, so I'll repeat that again. So, if you want to turn that off, you get two fingers and swipe to the left. I'm just going to check this so. So the transparency is locked at the moment, so we want to unlock it. That's it. So what you do, one finger is unlocks the transparency, yeah? Two fingers locks the transparency. That's correct. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're going to do now. Um, so today we have shown you how to put something in groups, which uh, I've done there. So if we close that group, and as I say, see that little arrow up there, that's your uh, selection tool, and you can move him about like so. So I've taught you how to do that. Uh, I've taught you how to lock transparency, lock transparency, and unlock transparency okay so that's useful for chlorine lines um what else can we show you um let's um let's uh duplicate the colors so we've got a duplicate that duplicate there and what we're going to do we're going to start let's start playing about with uh some different sort of like brushes and shading and stuff like that on there um, let's have a look. So we go in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the transparency by getting two fingers and moving it across like that. So anything we do on zombie now, it will just be on the colours. Okay. So let's uh, let's add a bit of texture to let's add, let's put a bit of dirt on his uh, clothing because he's a zombie. So let's have a look what sort of uh, brushes we've got. Uh, we don't want to use paint. Uh, let's have a look. We've got gouache there. We've got airbrushing. Textures. We've got this grungy one here. We've got charcoals. We've got elements. That's quite nice. We've got splatter. That's always a good one. I, I like using that. That's very nice. Uh, stubble. We've got some noise brushes here. We've got rough skin. That could be coming useful. But we're just going to do the suit at the moment. So let's have a look. Let's go with. Let's go with. Let's go with this grunge one. Let's see what this is like. So, what we're going to do is we've got a darker layer there. And we're just going to make that a bit smaller. Make the uh, up the opacity of that, and we're just gonna oh, knock the opacity down. We're just gonna put a bit of dirt in there, make him look a bit grimy. Let's put a little bit of dark red in there to um, make out that he's been eating some flesh. So only like dark. And as you can see, because I've got the um, transparency locked, you uh, can't, it, it won't, it'll only draw on the, uh, 
the actual colours. So there we go. Um, let's bring that down a bit. Let's find another brush. Let's mix it up a bit. Uh, let's sort of put a little bit of half tone in there. Bit of a, what we'll do is knock that down smaller. And let's go grey. Let's go black. Okay, and let's put some. Uh, let's look at those uh, touch-up things that we had here. So we had some uh, rough skin that could be interesting. So I'm going to go black, and I'm going to knock the opacity down there. I'm just going to rough skin. Interesting. That's quite cool, isn't it? Bit of rough skin there. And what's uh that's it, probably rough skin there. Let's see what other brushes we can go with. So we've got the rough skin. Old skin, oh oh zombie skin. Let's go with that. That sounds cool. Just put some put a bit of zombie skin in there. Oh ho ho! Interesting zombie skin. Okay, now you're looking at it and you're probably going, "Oh, why have you? Oh, you've, oh, you've done some over the eyes, Oxy. What's going on?" So what we're going to do? We're going to get the inking pencil, pen, and we're going to we're going to erase some of this away. Like so, and we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of some of the skin as well. And we're gonna get rid of some of this. And some of this. And we're gonna a bit of rim light in there. Rid some of this here. That's quite cool, isn't it? And that's me erasing uh, bits on the one coloured layer, yeah? Like so. Little technique there. And, uh, let's just tidy up here as well. Excellent! And then we can actually knock this down some if we wanted. And let's, uh, let's take some of this away. But what we're going to do, let's take away using the zombie skin. Cool. Excellent. That's made me happy. So yeah, so uh, okay, so what have we shown you? We've shown you how to create groups. We've told you how to lock and unlock transparency. That's brilliant. Uh, what else have we done? We've added a bit more texture to the character. And uh, we've shown you how to erase bits as well. So that, that helps, okay? So that's all we're going to do for today. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please rate, uh, comment, subscribe, and all that sort of thing. Uh, you can watch various other videos that I've done. Uh, that'd be good. And if you want to slap a like on them as well, uh, that's brilliant. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we'll do another tutorial tomorrow. Bye.